friends, my name is Abby and today I'm hopping on Reddit reading another scary story but this one has a twist. It's choose your own adventure so this one is from the r slash short scary stories subreddit and this one is called choose your own adventure alone in the dark. So it starts off with it's dark on the moors. I have no idea what moors is. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Okay so apparently that's what a moors is. Anyway, that's where we are. The rain intensifies. You have no idea where you are or where you might find shelter. So these are the options of what I can do. So one is to head into the trees on the hilltop. The next one is search for a path. Or the third one is scan the horizon. Um, I might scan the horizon so I can sort of see where I might be. Because I honestly don't know where I am. Apparently. So it says a flash of lightning reveals the silhouette of a distant building possible shelter So the first option is to walk towards the building or head into the trees. I'm probably gonna head to the building So let's click that one. It says something is running towards you So do I duck into the bushes or stand my ground? I'm gonna duck into the bushes. I'm not trying to get killed out here Okay Hidden away, you don't see it, but at least it doesn't see you. Continue. Okay. The building is a ruined church. At the far end, a flashlight beam flails around. Do I investigate the light or skirt through the graveyard? Um, I don't kind of want to go to a flashlight that's randomly moving around by itself, but I also don't know what I would find in the graveyard. I might go to the flashlight. Let's hope I don't die. So it says three children try to scare each other, hiding and shouting boo. Do I either call to them or jump out at them? Ah, uh, do I really want to scare these kids? Fuck it, I'm gonna scare these kids. When you lunge, one child swoons, one wets himself and one smacks his head on the altar. Perhaps you are scarier than you think. Look outside. Okay, we're looking outside. The gravestones moulder and lean like a crazy man's teeth. These are mausoleums with swinging doors and inviting open graves. Where will you find shelter? Bagot Family Mausoleum, Elisa Donald's grave, or far from here? I kind of don't want to hide in a graveyard just to get shelter, so I might go somewhere else. We're going to go far from here. If you wander away upset and confused, you will wander forever, frightening all you encounter. Oh. Okay. So, my whole life moral is to just scare everyone and just keep walking. I don't know, man. I feel like if I had it gone in the grave, I would have been stuck there forever. Let's actually find that out. Which one was that? If I go in the Baggett family mausoleum, what happens? Uh, the Baggetts are not welcoming. Their mausoleum door creaks close forever behind you. You will never see their faces, but their un unrelentless gaze burns into your diminished soul. I think it's better that I wandered forever. Yeah. Okay, that's fun. We're going to read another one. So this one is a horror house. Okay, so it starts off with, you're walking your dog Rufus. I like that name. And you see an abandoned house. Do you explore, walk away, or let Rufus decide? I love to explore abandoned buildings. I might let the dog decide, because dogs are usually smart. Rufus pulls towards the door of the house. Looks like you're going in. Okay, well that's fun. The door is locked. Do you break a window or shoulder barge the door? Mm, I might barge the door just in case and see what happens. You ram the door, bruising your shoulder, but you're in. You want a weapon, but there's not much around. Do you choose a dusty broom handle or a creepy doll? I don't want to touch no creepy doll. I'm going to go with a dusty broom handle. The frick? Okay. A young girl appears. Do you try to befriend her or hit her with the broom handle? I'm going to try to befriend her. I'm not trying to kill anyone. So it says, the young girl tries to take your hand and lead you away. Do you go with her or refuse and stay where you are? I'm going to refuse because I don't know why this chick's in this abandoned house. Let's go back up here. The girl is angry. The broom handle whips out of your hands and lodges itself down your throat. You suffocate. What? What, what would have happened if I went with the girl? Wait. Ghosts appear. 
You fall to the floor and cannot move. Eventually you die of dehydration surrounded only by apparitions. Okay, cool, yeah, that's nice. I don't know which one I would have preferred, to be honest. Imagine just being like stuck on the floor, dying of dehydration and there's ghosts everywhere. That's kind of terrifying too, right? Okay, well, that's fun. Um, so I'm gonna read one more Choose Your Own Adventure one and this one is called Creepy Camping. These ones are very short, which I like, but I want something saucy to happen. The other ones have just wandered off and died, but let's see what happens if I go creepy camping. So it says, you're going camping with your friend Candace. Candace. After packing essentials, you have space for one more item. Do you choose gaffer tape or a Swiss army knife? I might choose a knife. Why would I want to pack tape for? That's kind of sus. Um, okay, so it says, you reach the campsite at dusk, leaving Candace to set up the tent. You go off to find firewood. As you reach a clearing, you hear two voices talking. Do you announce your presence or sneak away? I might sneak away, you know, I just, I don't want to bother anyone. Okay, it says, you try to sneak off, only your foot catches on a gnarled branch. They hear you fall and rush over. After checking you're okay, they ask you to come to their fire pit for a drink later. When you get back, Candace seems into the idea. Do you let her go alone or agree to go too? I don't want to let her go alone, so I'm going to go with her, because who knows what's going to happen. Alright, you go with her, only for the women to grab you both. While fighting, you remember the knife in your pocket. You manage to stab your way free, but it's too late for Candace. So long, friend. Man! What would have happened if I announced myself to those people? What would have happened? Where is that? Announce my presence. You call out and two women appear. They look pleased to see you. Too pleased. They ask you to come to their fire pit for a drink later. You agree, if only to leave. When you get back, Candace seems into the idea. What if I let her go alone? So it's gone back to the same thing. It's midnight and Candace is still not back. You go to find her and get grabbed. Perfect, the women say. Our second sacrifice. So either way, I'm dead. Nice. Well, that, that was fun. Oh my days. I don't know which one was my favourite out of that. Um, I did like the random one where I was wandering around finding that church. That was interesting. I sort of envisioned that, but I didn't like the idea of hiding in a mausoleum. I don't even know what those look like. How do I spell mausoleum? Mausoleum? Whoa! That's what they look like. I don't know which mausoleum this is, but it's one of those things. Yikes. Okay, well, those were the three choose your own adventure stories. Let me know if you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you also like this kind of content. Um, I think these choose your own adventures one were really interesting and if I find more I'm definitely going to do more because I like the unknown and having to think about my actions but I ended up dying in two and the other one I just kept wandering on forever so that's kind of sad. Anyways make sure to like and subscribe if you made it this far. I post weekly with scary content so don't miss out. Um, and all my social medias are down below so make sure to go check those out as well. But I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day or night and I shall see you next time. Bye!